Don't make me angry. You won't like me when I'm angry. Hello and welcome to another figure review. Today we're going to have a look at the Figma Hulk from the Avengers movie. Just says Avengers now, Age of Ultron, but whatever. I mean, it's the Hulk. It doesn't matter what movie it is. It's the goddamn Hulk. It is. Fun fact, my favorite Marvel hero. I'm already a DC guy, but you know, if there's one character from Marvel I could take over to DC, it would be the Hulk, because he's green, he's big, he's bad, he's angry, and I'm gonna review him right now. So let's go, go green. Hulk smash! First of all, as usual, I'm gonna have a look at the overall side of this guy because he is huge for Figma. This guy stands at about 19 centimeters, which is seven, almost 7.5 inches, somewhere around there. So he's definitely big, tall, and I would guess in scale with any other Avengers. Figma figures, but I don't have any, so I can't tell you. I only, like I said, I only care about the Hulk. Fuck everybody else. Yes, I said that. And, I mean, overall, plain detail, the look of it is amazing. I really like the face sculpt. Let me see if I can get him down here. There you go. That's a good boy. Good skull on the hair. Nice and fuzzy. It looks kind of flat, though. It looks kind of... I mean, from zooming in that far, it looks kind of weird. But the face overall looks nice. Look at the eyes. Wow and all the wrinkles going on in his forehead so yeah they did a did an amazing job with the face sculpt that was something I was a little worried about because quite frankly Figma with like, fig, uh, with like things like these I mean you look at the Bruce Lee Figma and that's really all you got to say about that one the funny part about the face though I don't know if they plan for more faces because you can actually take it off but it also has like the Figma the recent Figma gimmick that you can move the eyes around yeah, overall detail in the sculpt is amazing, and as you can tell, he has a ton of shading going throughout his body, all the muscles, and it makes it look very cool. I mean, the thing is this, I like I like the fact that it's kind of like a mixture between comic and movie. I mean, the face looks pretty damn realistic. The shading, I mean, it, it's kind of in. I'm kind of split in between there. I think it looks kind of realistic, but I also think it looks kind of comic-y. And the pants are a lot more plain, but that's okay. The best of both worlds. You have the big shading going on, and then you have a little bit more flat going on with the pants. And that's all right. I like that. Nice conversion. And well, yeah, these. That's not really really pretty. But that, that, that's the other thing I was kind of worried about, the articulation about this guy. I will get to that actually right now. So articulation wise, there, there, there's a lot of interesting stuff, but also a bit of weird stuff going on. So first of all, head moves around very good, because it's kind of, well it's not really that soft, but uh, moves side to side very good, but it kind of disconnects there. I mean, you get great motion, but you kind of have a hole over there, but that's okay, I mean, I guess. It's alright, so it moves up as far as the skull plate set because it gets blocked by the hair, and moves down, and it pops right off. Be aware of that. So we have a big, let's, actually, let's have a big, let's have a look at the big ball rotating over here. Looks like an olive, seriously. And then we have another ball packed into, like, a double-packed ball that goes in the head. So you can play around with that. It works very well, actually. Goes down nicely. Like, pretty much the only thing blocking it is the sculpt. And, uh... Doesn't really have wiggle motion, but you can move it side to side. A little bit. Not really, actually. Doesn't really go side to side. Anyhow, shoulders... Uh, a little bit stiff. But that's okay. They swivel around all the way. And as you can tell, it goes up. And you have the big hole in here. So the elbows, again, it's really the sculpt. It, the sculpt shows you how far you can go. So that one swivels around, and then actually a fairly clean conversion. There's no parts that really stick out that much, no matter which way you turn it. That's nicely done. 
bonus points for that. But yeah, it goes up like that. And then we got the hand. Which uh, doesn't... I mean, it rotates around pretty much. Doesn't really go up or down that much. So there's nothing going on here at the torso. And a lot of people will complain about that. I'm okay with it because no matter what you do, it will just break up the sculpt. And I like... He looks good like that. You know, if you have like some hinge in here or something, it just looks... You can't really make that super clean. I mean, there is ways to make it, but I prefer having something that looks good rather than something that has super great articulation. Again, especially for something like the Hulk. And that's my take on it. So then we have down here, kind of like a, this is probably just like a, probably just like a hinge because it doesn't go side to side, it just goes forward quite a bit. Yeah, I don't want to force it more, but it probably could go a little bit more forward and goes back. And of course this, uh, the pants part is soft plastic, so it doesn't get in the way. But beware that you don't get it stuck under there, which is kind of my problem right now. And you know this happens. Alright. Ah, uh, this happened a lot already. Even when I just took him out of the out of the thing. So the the, the leg parts, the upper leg, upper part of the leg, doesn't really stay on there by itself. It gets uh hold on held by the actual uh pack kind of packs into this part and that's the problem it keeps falling off I mean it will not be a problem once it's posed because he's standing on it but uh, moving him around just taking him out of the box that, that has been the third time that uh, I mean both legs already have fallen off and now this one has fallen off again during the review so goes up nicely again this is soft plastic the type of part over here and it goes back also, you can force it a little bit. I don't want to go too much. Because you can hear the knacking and rackling and blah. So yeah, just keep your peg in there. And then we have the knees, the knee part. It is nicely done. It's not double hinged, but... Again, big bulky dude. If, even if you had a, 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 another hinge in here, you couldn't really move it more to the back. And that's why they have the big hole in here. I mean, they could have made like soft plastic or maybe like something that's kind of cut over here and to extend, but... I mean, this is what they went with. It doesn't look pretty from the back, but it gets the job done and the knee itself looks good. And then we have another big, another big olive. Just get a little bit side to side and up and down and the toe joint, which is all his toes, goes up. Nicely. I don't want to force it anymore. Uh, the conversion of the toes is kind of weird, though. I don't. I don't really. Yeah, I don't really like that. It's not looking so great. The other thing about this figure is accessories. There are none. Well, you actually just get a fist for each side, and that's it. Another weird thing to note about the fist is there's actually like a hole in there. Like he can hold something, even though he doesn't have anything to hold. Kind of don't know why they drilled a the hole in there, it just looks weird. So that's all he got. Fist hands, and he's grabbing, kind of menacing, booby grab hands. The biggest booby grab hands I've ever seen in figure form. But yeah, that's it. I mean, you also got, of course, the regular stuff. The Figma base and the Figma back, which you don't really, I mean, you don't really, you don't really need either for this one. Because he stands very well on his own, and you don't need a back because he only has two fist hands jokes on you but yeah that's the standard and it's okay but uh yeah boys okay so final thoughts time this is split i like this figure i think this figure looks great the execution on it is amazing he looks just like i want him to do menacing has the right face on and overall like that as in, as he stands right here He's an amazing looking figure. However, as you can tell, the articulation is limited. But I'm okay with that since he's a big dude. 
But then again, I look at the SH figure arts Broly, and they did a better job with like a big bulky dude. The point I'm making is just, if you're really looking for a big dude with super articulation, this is not the figure for you. If you want a good looking Hulk, this is the figure for you. So that's gonna do it for this review. As usual guys, thank you very much for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, feel free to hit it up with a like and maybe subscribe so you can stay tuned for more figure reviews, gameplay stuff and whatever the Hulk wants. SMASH! Goodbye.